Hi, good morning everyone. So, uh, my name is Aman and uh, we are going to discuss uh, advanced threat prediction and orchestration for service chains in SP Cloud. So, mainly I wanted to discuss four important things. First, what are the threats that a service provider domain can get? What are the appliances that we are using to handle those threats? Uh, the current service chain design in the service provider cloud and the problem with that particular design and what we are proposing so that we can solve that problem. So, so the most common threats in a service provider domain can be a packet sniffing. As we know that uh, an, as an internet domain is an encrypted domain, anyone, any malicious user who can uh, get the access of the packet can read through the IPs and ports. There can be malware attacks where a, malware, uh, where a malicious user can try to send uh, viruses they can send worms, Trojan horses into the system. There can be denial of service attacks when a user tries to block all other operations by sending packet at a certain rate. Th these are the common threats in the service provider domain. What are the appliances that are used? There is one most famous is the firewall. So the firewall can act in two different manner. It can act in a stateful manner as well as a stateless manner. Stateless manner when it acts, there are a set of rules like a ACL rule or there are a set of URL filtering rules that it acts on. Then there can be stateful uh, firewalls as well. Stateful as in they, ha they maintain a database through which they know what are the trusted uh, packets, what are the trusted sources and destination. If there are any untrusted source, the firewall can deny that. There is an intrusion prevention system. So basically this is a next gen firewall which is having the capability of to do deep packet inspection. Uh, it is used for uh, malware protection kind of thing. Now I'll go ahead and discuss about the current service chain design. So as you can see, there are a couple of branches, a couple of enterprise branches, then there is an internet, and in between there is a service provider domain. So there are, uh, so in this domain, there is an OpenStack infrastructure on which uh, there are NFVs created, like a router or IPS or a firewall. These infrastructure are controlled by an NFV orchestrator which talks to OpenStack and then it can orchestrate these uh, devices. So the idea is, when we say about a service chain, a packet coming out of a branch to the internet go, goes via all these devices, one by one, and all the packet filtering and other things are happening on uh, these service chains. So the chain of these three devices can be called as a service chain. A traffic coming out of a CP to the service chain is always encrypted, it's, it's in a secure tunnel, and when it goes out of the uh, service chain it, to the internet traffic, it is unencrypted. So it's the duty of these service chains to identify the security threats present and uh, to handle them. So the problem that we see with this service chain design is that there is no dynamic approach in that. So, uh, so at the start of the creation of this service chain, we'll either go for a router as a service or we'll, go, we'll couple with the router with the firewall as a service or we couple both of them with the IPS as a service. But on demand, we cannot provision something or on demand, we cannot orchestrate new rules so that is the problem that we are trying to tackle in this case. So the design that we discuss about, so we know that uh, opens Neutron has a tap as a service plugin. So what we do, so suppose there's a simple case of a router as a service when there is a, in the service chain, there's a single router being orchestrated by the NFV orchestrator. So what we will do, we will copy the packet from the OVS switch to a network analyzer through the tap as a service plugin. The network analyzer will have a set of tools like uh, IDS, traffic analyzer. It will have graphical tools to present a graph from the analyzed traffic. So the idea is this network analyzer tool will detect the threat present in the system and on demand there is an orchestrator plugin module in that which can have API invocation to the NFV orchestrator and on demand we can uh, create uh, uh, new NFVs or if we want to add, if we want to modify rules in the current NFV design or the current set of rules that we wanted to modify, we can do through this API invocation. So you see, uh, before there was a router as a service present, now we have coupled the router with the firewall as a service as well. And uh, just, it's very easy. The, 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 the network analyzer tool has IDS, the intrusion detection system, which can basically do a deep packet inspection as well it, as it can, uh, do a pattern analysis, it can do the uh, signature analysis of a traffic. Then there is a graphical tool, there can be any graphical tool connected here. And then when a certain kind of threat is detected, 
based on that, the API can be invoked and uh, the proper NFV which can handle that or a rule which can handle that can be created on demand. So, so the advantages that we see here, so uh, there, this is a very good cost and resource optimization because uh, in an enterprise when there are no need for a firewall or IPS system, why do you buy them? If there are network threats which can threat that kind of uh, traffic, you can have it on demand. It, it has a very fast response in an event of a threat. Uh, as it is dynamic, as it is API driven, it is very fast. Uh, it doesn't only create an NFV on demand, but can modify the existing rules based on threat analysis. For some kind of threat, we just want to add a rule in the firewall. We don't want a new uh, IPS device to be generated. So it can identify such kind of a threat and on demand it can uh, create, it can add rules in the current uh, firewalls. Uh, there is no manual intervention required for some identified cases because uh, we, we are not going to analyze all kind of threats here. So some uh, static kind of threat we can identify and based on that we can uh, uh, orchestrate rules. So uh, what is the further enhancement that we plan? So we, we want to incorporate this kind of threat at, uh, detection via machine learning. We want to analyze, we want to uh, bring data sets through which we can analyze them and then uh, do a predictive analysis. We can analyze the PCAP, cap PCAP captures with uh, uh, technologies like TensorFlow or Pandas. These are the Python libraries for machine learnings. Then uh, we can have uh, dynamic orchestration of rules for every kind of a threat. Once you do machine learning and you do uh, deep packet inspection on uh, uh, large data set, we can uh, do dynamic orchestration of, uh, uh, around all set of rules. We do pattern learning with the increasing data set as uh, this is uh, one base technology that we identified. Yeah, so I'm mostly done. If any question or answer we can discuss. No questions, it's all good. So we have started our research on this. We have started writing a couple of modules. So it's not yet completely done, but uh, we know what, which direction to move forward. I have my teammate as well present with me. So uh, we did as in a collaboration with a uh, few folks in India. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So these are some of the research work that we did, and these are the. Yeah, we started exploring such ki these kind of tools, but there are more. We know that. Based on the PCAP captures that we have in, um, in the packets, you can run a uh, you know learning kind of thing and uh, prediction. Those uh, for those we would be using um, TensorFlow and Pandas. Uh, TensorFlow, I felt that uh, somehow it is very uh, useful when you are doing you know kind of network prediction and all. So it's, I mean that is what I felt, and Pandas in general. I mean that is. Working on this, we just uh, used as a research module for a future enhancement. Yeah. So the current enhancement does not include these uh, uh, technologies. Uh, I think that would come once we have the analysis in place, and then you would usually go for the optimization. Uh, so we, we're trying to put that in place. We tried to look for a couple of tools. Didn't quite find any open source tool which does that. So uh, I mean, wh when we do this, we would like to collaborate with people and probably put it in the open source. We saw that this piece is uh, quite missing. So you have so many tools. I mean, uh, whenever you do a service change, that's kind of static. Uh, and uh, in, in a dynamic fashion, you never really get to do that. And that would be a lot of optimization costs savings in the long run. Sorry? 
rules engine as in in the in the tool so basically this is a intrusion detection system which we are using which does uh, uh, packet deep packet inspection and uh, tries to find out um, the signature as well as the pattern kind of a thing so No, this is this is a uh, this is a common tool actually. We we are not exploring a, a yeah. So this this is not uh, related to any code base kind of a thing. This is a appliance kind of a thing which we are using as of now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. We'll discuss it. All.